Well, hello, sports fan. It's me, Sportsman Z. And I'm back with game three of our playoff series against the Chicago Blackhawks. Now, if you recall, if you watched either of the first two, you know, well, if you watch both of the first two, you know, that we're up two games to nothing coming into this game. And now we're at home. So there's good news. So let's get on with this. You see, I've got it set up. Uh, Chicago will com control the computer, or the computer will control Chicago, other way around. And um, I will be controlling Minnesota. So. Turn the sound down. A little bit and uh, let's make sure that we get everything in here there we go all right we got John Casey in the net we're set up looks like we're ready to go so let's have the face off and again, I may be moving ahead at certain times in the game to try to um, minimize the uh, recording uh, length and time. Um, but uh, we'll we'll decide on that as things develop because for whatever reason, the way that the playoff setup is, it seems to go a little faster than the regular season games went. And so in the regular season games, I really had to um, cut time out just to bring it in at like around an hour. Uh, but with these playoff games, uh, Jim Jordan going to the box, are you kidding me? With the playoff games, I don't have to do that. They generally will play in for like 45 minutes. So we're shorthanded here to start off. Not good. But we're up two games, nothing. I mean, we, you know, both games were taken in Chicago. So, I mean, usually, you know, I guess the old rule of thumb is that if you can get a split on the road, you're, you're doing good. Well, we swept them on the road so far. Rennick, Jeremy Rennick, outside shot, looks like, and Casey deflects it. Casey has been huge for us in this series, by the way. So, yeah, so we're hoping for another, like, miracle Minnesota run. Tenorti has the option, that, option to intimidate Steve Larmer. I guess I'll take it, because otherwise he'll be inside. And it worked. Tenorti got the puck away from him. Good. So let's see if we can, well, no, we can't. Now Dave Manson has an inside shot. And Casey makes the save. Let's hope we get it back. Tenorti corrals it, so that's good. He does. We do. 17-28 left in the first period. Only being outshot one to nothing. Nah, I guess that was the shot right there. Now Manson inside again. Another inside shot for... Uh, it's in and they score on it. You suck. My God. All right. Well, down one nothing. That's what happens when you go to the sin bin. Now, in both of the last two games, we won by the score of two to one. So that was Chicago's one goal right there is what I have to say about that. And obviously back at full strength because they scored on the power play. And now Chicago has control of the puck. 16.47 left in the first period. And we're losing one nothing. No shots on goal for us yet either. No penalty. So do we get the puck? No. Doug Wilson gets the puck. So what do we got here? Giles. Giles takes the puck away and has an outside shot on Belfour. 
And he scores! We tie the game! You like that? You like that? Nice. Nice shot by Giants. So, tie game at one. 16 15 mark of the first period. There's a scrum for the puck, and Duchesne has it for us. Uh, they got the puck, but they failed to penetrate, which means I guess we get it back. And Barrison, I am really wondering why all of a sudden Barrison is a big guy on our uh, team, because... I don't remember seeing him at all during regular season. I mean, he must have played, but Lemieux with the outside shot in case he makes the save. And uh, Basil McRae comes away with the puck. And that's going to be a two-minute power play, looks like, for us. Yes, it is. So we got a power play of our own, and we tied the game, so we got a chance to go ahead here. Madonna gets the puck. Glenn gets hammered into the boards by Graham. Dirk Graham. And uh, Graham is trying to make something work here. And uh, Gagne has an outside shot, but I'm going to give it to Bellows instead and then we're going to see what can happen with bellows passing let's see if he can pass it inside shot for right wing and that's going to be madonna with a chance to be intimidated but he isn't and he's inside see how i worked that but of course belfort made the save on the shot and a shorthanded team recovered man that's brutal. Jeremy Roenick has the puck. And let's see what happens here. There's only 115 left in now in the uh, penalty to McGill. How only 101. And Ronick has kept holding on to the puck, so he's really killing us. 42 seconds left in the penalty. So we might have one more good chance. Player for the shot, I'm going to say Madonna. Then we're going to try to get inside with Madonna. Yeah, let's go penetrate with Madonna, and he puts the brakes on. Inside shot for any player. All right, we're going to go back to Gagne then. And Gagne inside. Goalie rating, eight. Goal! Gagne! I think that's his second of the game. So Gagne is, he's picking us up. Now it's 2-1 North Stars at 12-22 of the first period. So this actually might be a little bit of a barn burner instead of a uh, closely contended defensive struggle like the first two games have been.
but we're, you know, we're winning. I can't believe that we're manhandling Chicago like this. I mean, we had a, we had a losing record, but it was a close losing record. Penalties? Penalties on who? Is that offsetting? It is offsetting to the point where those guys are off the ice and it's a four on four now. So, but I like that. It makes for wider open hockey. So not too bad. Uh, Glenn, Brian Glenn has the puck for Minnesota. Three shots to three shots, but we're up two to one. Now Manson of Chicago has the puck, takes control. And they had uh, Steve Thomas get inside. Can Casey come up big again? And he can. But Manson gets another shot on the rebound. And Casey still comes up big. And it goes all the way down ice to Doug Wilson. Possible penalty, penalty 12, no penalty. Okay, good, because I think that could only have been on us. And Giles takes the puck away and has an inside shot. Could it be his hat trick? No. Belfour's having none of it. Or was that guy? No, Giles, no, it's one to one. Giles has the, I think Giles had the first goal and Gagne had the second, so. It isn't Gagne with two goals. Getting the G's messed up. All right, Neil Wilkinson has an outside shot option. I think he's just going to take it because he can't really do much of anything with it. That's going to be a save defensive center. They don't have a center, though, so. Oh, wait, yeah, they do. I guess the penalties are, are over. So now um, Troy Murray has the puck for Chicago. And uh, they had somebody get inside, and that's Gilbert. Gilbert, I don't know how you pronounce that name. And there's a rebound, and defensive center gets it. So Bearsen, Perry Bearsen has the puck. Um, Mike Craig, player for the shot. Yeah, guess we'll give it to Craig. So let's see what happens here. Now we lost it, and now Michelle Goulet has it for Chicago. How old Dolan has it. Okay, intimidation, no penalty. Oh, Jocelyn, you not. All right, so Steve Conroy has it for the Blackhawks. 717 left. This is usually where I move ahead to like two minutes left in the uh, first period, but I'm not going to. I'm going to let it play out. Madonna couldn't take Thomas off the puck, and so now Thomas has an inside shot. Goalie rating 11 rebound. And offensive center if a three defensively, and he's probably not, and he isn't. And Crichton has an inside, um, has a rebound shot. And that's going to be a save, and Casey's going to cover it up. So we're going to have a face-off to Casey's left. Chicago loses the face-off, and Brian Prop has the puck.
Presley has the puck now for Chicago. Wayne Presley. And now we steal the puck back, and now Bobby Smith has it for us. Catan Duchesne for the uh, outside shot, or what would be an outside shot initially at least. Yeah, we'll go with Duchesne. And we lose the puck. Jocelyn Lemieux has it for Chicago. And Berezin gets the puck back for us. Sixty percent chance to intimidate with Basil McRae. I'll take that. And Brian Bellows now has the puck for us. 4-12 left in the first period. We're up 2-1 over Chicago in game three with a 2-0 lead for us. Doug Wilson couldn't knock Dolan off the puck. He's inside, and he gets denied by Ed Belfort. So we have the puck, Dahlquist with it. Brian Prop has the option to intimidate Derek Graham at 25%. I'll take that, I guess. A little, a little risky. Derek Graham's inside anyway. He fought off uh, Prop's attempts to take him off the puck and now prop has the puck and now wayne presley has the puck for chicago they're losing two to one in this game and they're losing two nothing in the series a minute 48 left in the first period Bobby Smith, yeah, give him the puck, definitely. And Bobby Smith with the outside shot. Let's see if he can make it. No. It's going to be a save and go to the left wing. And that is Tony McKegney. And now Mike Craig takes the puck away from McKegney. And we're going to have an outside shot only against us by Gilbert. And Casey makes the save. Mike Craig with the puck. And Basil McRae has a 60% chance of taking the puck away and I'm going to do that and he does knock him up. oh no he doesn't he doesn't Lemieux is inside and that's a save for Casey and we don't have a four defensive player so Chelios gets the rebound shot and that's another rebound any defensive player four again and we don't again have one of those so Troy Murray has a uh, rebound shot and Casey just survived an initial shot and two rebound shots. And he has to survive another one from Conroy. And he does. And we will give it to Basil McRae, who is across from an A. Penalty guy. And the period's over. So... There was a flurry of activity there by Chicago right at the end of the first period, but they didn't come up with a goal. They are out shooting us 14 to seven, which isn't surprising considering they just got four shots in a row to end the first period. But they are on the losing end of the scoreboard and that's what really counts. So 
So we got Neil Broughton possible to give the puck to, and I will say yes. Let's do that. Ronick couldn't dislodge the puck, and Broughton's inside. Goalie rating five, save any forward. So Chicago is, by and large, they're avoiding the um, the sin bin this game, and that's helping them. Uh, the game is very close, although this is exactly how all, the, each of the other two games ended. Alf Dolan, I'll give the puck to. Yeah, Alf Dolan with an outside shot. And it's a save by Belfour. Lines change, and now Dirk Graham has it for Chicago. And who's that penalty on? on them nice great for a minute there i was worried i thought it was on us so face off to belfour's right and we have a power play for two minutes with Crichton in the box and doug wilson has possession of the puck off the face off He successfully skated with it, so I have to hope that doesn't happen again. And it does, and he's going to have a breakaway. Doug Wilson on a breakaway shot, shorthanded. And it's going to be a save and go to the left defenseman. Again, Casey saves our butts. And Glenn has the puck. Second period, 1731 mark. We're up two to one still. And Bellows with an outside shot. And uh, that's a save by Belfour, and their right wing is going to come away with the puck, and that's Dirk Graham. You know, it'd be nice to score three goals in a game, especially right now. They successfully skate with it. And they'll probably try to skate with it again. And they do. And they successfully do it. 16.05 left now, though, and the penalty's over. And Duchesne with the puck for us. So just as I was talking about Chicago avoiding the sin bin, they went back to it. So... And again, I think that's the Achilles heel of this team. They have a lot of really talented players, but they are goonish in their um, approach to hockey and tend to take too many penalties. Dave Manson maybe got another penalty. Yes, he did. Yes, now now see the true Blackhawks colors are coming out. And I don't mean red and black. I mean black and blue. So they're going to the... Uh, uh, Manson's going to the box. And now we have a two-minute uh, stint of time with the puck. That um, we will have one man up on them. And prop with an outside shot. And that's a save by Belfour. Let's hope we can get it off the face off. Chelios with it. And that's a successful skate. Well, one thing, I guess they know that they can kill off penalties pretty well. So, who knows? But Dolan has an outside shot. And again, Belfour makes the save. 
Now, I mean, it's not like Belfour has been bad in this series. He's lost 2-1, to 2-1, to one, and he's down in this game 2-1. to one. So he's been playing well for him. He just wishes they would spend more time on the ice and less in the box. Bellows for the shot? Yeah, I'm going to do that. And it looks like it might be a penalty, and it is. And they're going right back to the box. Looks like Larmer. No, McGill. So McGill for two minutes. Face off to his to uh, Belfour's right. And you know one thing: even if we can't score on the on the penalties because they keep skating with the puck, one good result of that though is that they're probably not going to score because they don't have the puck or they can't really mount a charge against five men. All right, um, Madonna with an outside shot option. I'm going to pass with Madonna. Inside shot for center. And that's going to be Gagne. And Gagne gets, there's a penalty. And that's going to be Chelios. So Chelios is joining McGill in the box. And now we have a five on three. Yeah, this is, this is no way to win a hockey game. If you want to, like, have a lesson on how not to win against a talented Minnesota North Stars team, the answer is do not do what Chicago's doing. All right, Tenorti is going to try to pass. Inside shot for right wing. Possible penalty. Jarring hit, but now there's no penalty. Of course there's no penalty now. So Trent Yanni has the puck. Again, they're not going to mount an attack. So, you know, so be it. Um, Brian Prop. Yeah, I'll give it to Prop. We're going to try to penetrate this time with Prop because passing hasn't been really working. And he does penetrate. And he's inside. Brian Prop inside for a shot. And that's a rebound. And Dolan's going to have the rebound shot. And that is blocked. And now Trent Yanni has it for Chicago. We got Brian Prop. Yeah, that's a good good as any. And he's gonna try to penetrate again. Puts the brakes on, looking for somebody, and he doesn't. Picked off by Yanni. So now Yanni has the puck. Minute 16 left in the penalty to McGill, a minute 21 left to Wilson. All right, Dolan has an, uh, we're going to try to penetrate with Dolan. And he did very easily, too. And now Dolan inside on Belfour. And it's a save to the left defenseman. Man, you know, Belfour is coming up huge for him right now when they need it. 11-10 left in the second period. Shots are 15 to 12 Chicago, but we're up two to one on the scoreboard. And Yanni with the puck. The penalty to McGill is nearly over. And 
And now everybody's back at even strength with 914 left in the second period. Penalty from intimidation, four. There's a penalty. Is it on us, though? Yeah. Wait. No, it's on them again. So a face-off to Belfour's right. And again, they won't be able to really mount an attack for two minutes. They were playing the first period really essentially pretty clean, but now the second period they've been in the box almost the entire period. Glenn is going to try to penetrate. And he puts the brakes on. Inside shot for left wing. Nice. Bellows. Oh, yeah. And Bellows scores! Nice. And the plus means that it was it was a, it was specifically a shorthanded goal opportunity. If there had been an even strength, there's no way it wouldn't have been a goal. It would have been a faceoff. So Bellows gets our third goal, assisted by Glynn and Bobby Smith. And now it comes back out to center ice for a face-off. Of course, we're all back at even strength because we just scored. So we've scored two of our goals, I believe, now on penalties by Chicago. And Doug Wilson has the puck. And wouldn't Doc Emmerich be having a field day with this game? Uh, Glenn, yeah, I'm going to try to intimidate. Glenn can't stop him, so Manson inside. Goalie rating, 11, is going to be a rebound. Offensive left wing of three, which he might just be. McKegney. It's McKegney with a rebound shot. And that was a, that was a straight, also, um, shorthanded possibility goal or a, like a power play goal, but it wasn't because we weren't shorthanded. So we have essentially been avoiding the box. I mean, we've been in the box, obviously, but not anywhere close to the number of times Chicago has. 7.41 left in the second period, and we're up 3-1. And Jocelyn Lemieux is going to have an outside shot. And Casey makes the save. Say, I mean, Casey has been huge. That guy, I think, would be our MVP. At least in this series. I have to see how the other series is go. Lose puck outside shot for right wing. And Lemieux with an outside shot, but he failed to penetrate. So now Bellows has the puck. And a breakaway, Rennick on a breakaway. Ronick, Rennick, whatever his name is. Save it any forward. Um, we will give it to, well, they're all across from B's. We'll give it to Ulf Dolan. And he's got the puck. We're still being outshot, 19-13, but we're up 3-1 to one because they've been spending a lot of time in the box. Uh, penalty possibility, but no penalty. We lose the puck, and Steve Conroy of Chicago has it. 514 left in the second period. And they lose it, and Bobby Smith has an inside shot. It's a save for Belfort, and he covers up. And see, that was a goalie rating plus two. So that could have potentially been, hello? All right, so we're back and there is a face off.
And let's see who has it. Uh, Dahlquist has an outside shot, so he'll shoot it. And there's an, uh, goes to any player. Trent Murray has it. Lemieux with an inside shot. And Casey makes the save. And Wilkinson has the puck for us. And Lemieux, Jocelyn Lemieux with an outside shot. They're down by two. And Casey makes a save and keeps it that way. And Dahlquist has the puck. And there is a penalty coming up to somebody. And it is Trent Yanni, it looks like. I'm going to spend some time in the box again. No, it's McGill. Why does it always say Yanni and then it's McGill that ends up serving the penalty? I don't know. But I don't care because they're down. Uh, five to four as men on the ice. So um, face off. Yeah, let's give it to Bobby Smith. And, of course, next action, let's go. And breakaway, and Larmer with, a, uh, with an inside shot, and that's going to be a goal. So they score, and they make the score 3-2. to two. So, you know, all those penalties, it's killing me. Because all those penalties, and yet they're right on our butts. Um, but McGill is still in the box for another minute 28. Madonna with the puck. And Ronick has it. Ronick steals a puck away. And of course, he's good at skating with it. But he failed that time. So maybe we take the puck away. And uh, Gagne will have it. Gagne, I'm going to try to penetrate inside with Gagne, and he fails to penetrate. But we have an outside shot for Glenn. He'll just take it. And uh, loses it. Now um, Doug Wilson has it. And Doug Wilson is going to have a breakaway. Figures. So Doug Wilson on a breakaway shot. And that's going to be a faceoff, it looks like. Casey covers it up, makes a save, covers it up, and a faceoff to his left. And now everybody's back at even strength with a minute 34 left in the second. And uh, let's see, Gagne, yeah, Gagne, because he's across from an A. I mean, you can see when, whenever they show I've got a chance to give it to somebody, there's always A's and B's across from everybody.
and uh, we got it. We got the puck back. They had a chance right there. They were trying to mount an attack, but Johnson broke it up and now has the puck. But there's an inside shot possibility, but we can try to force them off the puck 75%. And we do. And so we get the puck back, and there's only eight seconds left in the second period. And we are being massively outside, outshot, but we are outscoring him. Inside shot for right wing. So Gillis is inside for an inside shot. And that is going to be a save any forward. And we will give it to Bobby Smith, who is across from an A. That's probably going to be the last play of the second period. And it is. So we go to the third, and we are up three to two with 20 minutes left. And Johnson with the uh, puck. And there's a breakaway for Jim Johnson. Took the puck away and got an inside shot for himself. But, of course, Belfort stops it. Uh, 75 percent chance on intimidation I'll take that and he does Johnson does get the puck away from Chicago so now he has it outside shot for the center and that's going to be Gagne and we're going to try to penetrate with Gagne and he did get inside Gagne with an inside shot let's go Let's go. And it's going to be save any forward. He gives it to McKegney. I mean, don't get me wrong. We have our own penalty guys, you know, like Prop and Tenorti. But not as many as them. And we, it looks like offsetting, possibly. Uh, yeah, offsetting to the point where it's four on four. So 17-22 left in the third period. They're out shooting us 24-17, but they're down three to two. If they lose this game, you really have to think we're seriously in the driver's seat and going to uh, probably win the series. Tenori loses the puck, and there's an outside shot for the left wing, and he gets inside. So it's Goulet with a quick move, gets inside, and he has a shot, and that's going to be a rebound. And hopefully we get it, and we do. Defensive right wing comes up with it. That's all Dolan. And Larmer is going to have an outside shot. He took the puck away and has an outside shot, but it's a save by Casey. 16.05 left. Minnesota still up 3-2. And Jim Johnson with the puck. And Jim Johnson has an outside shot. He'll just take it because he's not really the offensive type. And that's going to be a save, defensive right wing. And Dirk Graham has the puck. Graham is hammered, hammered by Prop into the boards. And Prop has an outside shot, or no, an inside shot. Prop is inside. But that's going to be a save by Belfour and a face-up.
and the penalties to Bobby Smith and Gillis are both over. Smale with an outside shot, we're just going to have him take it because he really can't pass it and he can't really get inside either. And that's going to be a save by Belfour. And Pat Gillis with the puck for Chicago, 15 minutes left. We're down to the final 15 minutes and we have a goal lead. And there's a penalty on Bobby Smith. Come on. All right, so now we're shorthanded, and we have to be the ones that fight off these the, the penalty and can skate with the puck for a while. And Broughton comes away with the puck. It's a good guy to have gotten the puck, that's for sure. But he loses the puck, and there's an inside shot for the left defenseman, it looks like. Is that right? That is right, and that's going to be Doug Wilson. Inside shot, goalie rating eight, and that's going to be a face off. Thank you, Casey. So, uh, we'll see what happens here. I can give it to anybody. I'm going to give it to Tenorti because he's across from an A. There is 13.26 left. We still hold the one goal lead and we've closed the shot deficit to 20 to 27. Dave Manson with the puck takes it away from Tenorti apparently. And there's a 50% chance of intimidation. I'll take it. And the penalty to Bobby Smith is over, but Bronick is inside. And that's going to be a rebound. Any offensive player who's a four. Yeah, they probably have a lot of those, and Larmer's one of them. And he's going to have a shot, and that's going to be a goal that ties the game. Uh, all right. Well, it's all tied up at three. Don't go anywhere. Don't make any plans. So anyway, we've got uh, face-off. 3-3 three, three game. They're out shooting us 29-20. There's 12.59 left in regulation. And Johnson with the puck. Outside shot. Bad pass by Johnson. Inside shot for any player. And that's going to be Goulet inside on Casey. And that will be, he lose, they lose it to the right wing. So our right wing has it. That's Badano. Come on, let's mount one last charge and get down there and score. And Gagne is inside on Belfort. Let's go. Roll. Goalie rating. Five. Save any forward. God. Belfour. He is saving their butts, and he almost saved their butts in either or both of the first two games, too. Now they got inside with Adam Crichton, so Crichton has an inside shot. That's going to be a rebound. Any offensive player who's a four, and again, they probably have one of those, and they do with Dirk Graham. But that's going to be a save, and the right defenseman will get it for us. And that is Clark, or, uh, Kurt Giles. Inside shot for anything. They took it away from Giles, and they got an inside shot with McKegney. So now they're playing for real. And there's going to be a face-off. Saved by Casey and a face-off to his left. So 10-27 left. They are really out shooting us, 32-21. But it's tied on the scoreboard, and that's what counts for the moment. 
Glenn has the puck. Come on, let's go. Let's mount something here. Out now, Manson gets the puck, and there's an outside shot for the right wing. Oh, outside shot for us. All right, that's Smale. I'm just going to take the shot. He's not very good. It's going to be a save and go to their left wing. So McKegney will have it. No, it's McGoulet. I guess they changed lines. And Wilson gets behind everybody and has an inside shot. And that's going to be a save by Casey. Face off to Casey's left. Now all of a sudden Chicago is just right in our faces. And always shooting and always mounting offensive uh, chances and staying out of the box, most importantly. And they they got inside again, and now Michelle Goulet has an inside shot, and he does not get it. And we only have one guy we can give it to, and that's Giles. So we will. And uh, so Giles has the puck. Come on, let's mount one last charge here. One last charge, and we probably win this game. I mean, one last charge where we score, obviously. But Ronick takes the puck away and has an outside shot, and that's a save, and it goes to the, our right wing. And that is Madonna. And Steve Thomas takes the puck away from Madonna as he falls down on the ice. 7.38 left in a 3-3 game. And they passed it to Crichton, and he's got an inside shot. And that's going to be a save by Casey. And there's going to be a face-off. And Gillis gets the puck, and he has an inside shot, and that's going to be a rebound. Offensive left defenseman, if a two, no. So Conroy has the puck, and he is going to have a shot, and he loses it to the right wing. So the right, our right wing has it, Doug Smale. Seven minutes left in the game. You've got to believe probably the next goal wins the game. As, well, particularly... Once we get to overtime, if we get to, uh, uh, you know, extra periods. But Katan Duchesne has the intimidate option. I'll take it. Couldn't dislodge the puck, so Presley has an inside shot. And they score. Well, that, that's probably it. So I was hoping really to go up three games to nothing because that really would have put us solidly in control. But um, not happening. Like, no, God! No, God, please, no! 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 Conroy with the puck. Takes the puck away and has an outside shot for Johnson. I'm just going to take it because he can't do anything else, really. He loses it to the left wing. Goulet has it. So let me see here. Um, I think there is a way to... Yeah, we're going to go to one. I think one is the most wide open.
Maybe not. I don't know. It had it on three. So maybe I'll just keep it on three. Three might be the most wide open. I'm not sure which one it is. I gotta I gotta read up on that. We will try to take the puck away. Couldn't dislodge it, so Larmer has an inside shot. 549 left. And now Brian Bellows has it for us. There's 514 left in the third period. And they take the puck away again. And we will try to take the puck away from them with an intimidation. And it doesn't work, and so Larmer has an inside shot. That's going to be a save any, and I am going to give it to G Glenn because he's across from... Well, let's give it to Bellows because at least he can do something with the puck and he's across from a B. So Prop has it, 449 left. Loses the puck and Dirk Graham has it, 407 left. All right, Madano has an outside shot option. I'm going to try to penetrate because we have to, and he did. And Madano will have an inside shot. This might be our best chance to tie this game. Goalie rating three, no rebound. Offensive right wing. Madano takes it again, but he doesn't get it to goal. That was probably going to be our chance right there to tie the game. So Paul Gillis with the puck. They're up 4-3 with 3.31 left. And Smith has an outside shot. Lose to anyone. And they will give it to Chelios. 3.04 left in the game. Unless we score. Tenorti all by himself inside. Goalie rating six. Face. All right, three oh four. You know what? I am gonna. I'm gonna go for a. Uh, I'm gonna pull the goalie. We might as well go for broke here. And the extra skater will be Gagne, right? And Gagne's not out there, right? All right. So, face off in their end. We're we've got an extra guy on the ice. Michelle Goulet gets the puck. Player failed to penetrate, so Rennick was stopped. And now we have the puck with a minute 49 left. Uh, we're going to go with Bellows. Bellows will have a shot. That's going to be a save, and the left wing comes up with it. They've got it with a minute 49 left, maybe less now. Minute 14. And Madonna with an outside shot. Come on. We got to have something here. And it's a save by Belfour. Minute 14 left. Any player, I'm going to give it to Prop. We can't say we didn't have our chances. Uh, Prop, I'm going to go try to penetrate. He failed to penetrate. 
Yeah. Manson has the puck with 43 seconds left. That's probably going to be our undoing right there. Thirteen seconds left. Giles inside. Eight is a rebound. Missed it by that much. If we can get the rebound. Left wing of a two. And he is Duchesne. And that's going to be a save, and a right defenseman has it, and that's probably going to be it. Yep, we lose 4-3 in a heartbreaker. That was terrible. All right, so anyway, Bob Zolke, Sportsman Z, signing off. The series is 3-2 to two now, or 3-1. to one. No, 2-1. to one. We're up two games to one, and we'll be playing in Minnesota next game.